Greetings, everyone. Today, I'm going to get started on laying out the walls. Uh, I'm going to grab the, I got uh, two by six, 16 foot long plates and two by four, 16 foot long plates for the two by four walls. And I'm going to get started laying those out. I got the saw set up here and plans are over there on the table. So let's get going. So I'm going to start here and we'll get this wall laid out, this window laid out, and this wall laid out right here. And then I should have a plate break somewhere right in here. So what I mean by a plate break is at the bottom of the wall and at the top of the wall, there are two by sixes running horizontally and the studs run vertically up and down the wall. Those plates at the top and bottom for my house are 16 feet long. That front wall is a little longer than 36 feet, so I'll put two 16 foot pieces butted end to end to give me 32 feet, and then I'll have a four foot long piece and some change to make it the rest of the way. So that is what I mean by a plate break. So I'll I'll, every 16 feet, if the wall's longer than that, there'll be a break in those uh, top and bottom plates. So the first wall was four foot five, and it's a two by four wall, so I needed to mark inch and three quarters in each direction, and, which I did. I, I don't know if you can see that on there already. A little technical difficulty with the camera. And actually that looks right because there's my wall and it, that plumbing pipe's right in it. All right, my next measurement is 13.4 to the center of this 2x4 wall, which should line up with this plumbing pipe right here. All right, 13.4, and then an inch and three quarters each direction. It's a 2x4 wall. Alright, that looks good. So let me go along and I'm going to start at the far end and I'm going to work my way this way with my uh, 16 inch centers for the wall studs. So here's a pretty good example of how that Vantec flooring works. Yesterday we were running the hose for backfilling dirt into the, above the French drain. And overnight the hose kind of dribbled out through one of the connections. And that water is just absolutely beating up on the floor. That is pretty cool. Check this out. When I push it, it just rolls. You would not be able to do that with OSB. <laughs> 
right, I've got all the studs marked along there. And then every four feet where my shear paneling ends, rather than being a two by six, I am going to have a four by six. That way I have a little more meat for all that shear wall nailing that's got to go into it. So let me get all these measured out and squared up. You know how they say the third time's a charm. There's, well, first I did a, it's supposed to be a four by, and I did it as a six by. So that was the first mistake. <laughs> then I realized it needs to be a four by, but then I measured it wrong. <laughs> so there's the, the third time's a charm. I got the right lines where it's uh, three and a half inches from that line to that line. So, whew. Guess I'm just warming up. Now I, I've got windows in the bathroom here to lay out on this section. So let me go find out where that window is. All right, it's seven foot seven to the window. All right, so seven foot seven. We've got. Uh, there and inch and a half back for the cripple whoops i went too far that's nine seven i'm on the other side of the window seven seven all right so cripple and so inch and a half back for the cripple and then another inch and a half back for the king stud king stud Right, and then we've got two foot, so nine foot seven, inch and a half for the cripple, and then another inch and a half for the king stud. There we go. Let's square those off. Next, I'm going to go from the plate break and lay out these windows here and this wall. And then I should have a, a little plate break right here just to finish off the rest of the front kitchen wall. All right, moving on to the next section of this wall. I have a window at 21, 3. So I got 16 on that first section of wall. So now I just need 5, 3 to this window. There's 5, 3. So I need. Uh, That's so where have those studs, the king stud and the cripple. All right, so inch and a half, cripple, inch and a half, king stud. And then it's a two foot six window. So five, three, and two, six, seven, nine. All right. 
So two foot six in here. Two foot six. And then I'm gonna go look. Uh, these these windows. There's two windows here, and in between them is, or excuse me, it's three windows here, and in between them I think is a six by six going straight up. So. Um, let me go double check that. So they are six by sixes, so we're at uh, seven nine. I need to go five and a half inches more. And then we'll have another two foot six window, another six by, and another two foot six window. So I'll uh, lay that out and be right back. So I found another little boo boo I made. This front wall, I brought it all the way to the edge, but I have a shear wall going out here. So this wall needs to come all the way to the front edge. That way, that six by six post with the hold down, this is going to be a six by six post in the, in the corner, and there'll be a hold down bracket mounted to that six by six post. And that way, this whole wall is sheared. If I had put my five and a half here, the six by six with the hold down would not be on this wall it would actually be holding down this wall so i'm going to cut the last little bit of my front wall off five and a half inches so my next wall can come all the way down here All right, the front wall is all completely laid out. And now let's do this two by six wall. That needs to go out over there beyond that hold down. All right, I'm gonna try to lay out the, this wall and I wanna be able to try to get all the way through over to this area at some point today. So let's see what happens. It is the end of day one, and I have almost all of the walls in the front done. I've made it over to the in-law unit laundry. So I just have this short wall and that wall to finish the front and then I'll start down the side tomorrow. <laughs> 